Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm so excited. I couldn't wait. I'm like tired. I had a wedding today and I've already uploaded a video today. But when a new pat palette comes, the world must stop. And I've got to open it. I've got to play with it. And it's got to be on camera for you guys. So looky what came in the mail today. I am going to be doing my first impressions and so showing you some up close swatches of the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey palette. So if you want to hang out with me, play with some good eyeshadows and just keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys, particularly Pat McGrath. I'm so pumped. For those of you wondering how I got my palette so early, I just live close to their shipping center. It must be a few hours away because this came overnight just crazy but let's get into the details of this palette so this is the big palette in Pat McGrath's holiday collection it's $78 this launched yesterday and if you are planning on ordering this palette and have not yet make sure you use the code mega 10 at checkout that will save you 10% off of the palette so don't forget that because I always forget that now for those of you asking the rest of the holiday items are not available she did this last year so she released the big palette first and then the rest of the items in the the collection are going to be in a separate launch. I'm sorry in my most recent Celestial Odyssey video where I did some chat about the collection. I did not mention that and I didn't mention that because I completely forgot but yeah super annoying so I don't have a date yet as to when the rest of the collection is going to launch. I am about as in the dark as you guys are so if anybody has a date for that make sure you comment down below but that's nice so that gives the main focus on the palette for me and makes this a better review because we can just focus on this. So here is what the packaging looks like. This is a limited edition 18 shade couture color palette. Beam beyond the spectrum in an array of supernova gemstone inspired shades presented in a cyber bronze starscape balanced with warm and cool tones. So we do have a nice mixture of warm and cool tones in this palette. Now in this palette, there's going to be five different finishes. A satin shimmer, 24K duochrome sparkle, a foiled metallic, a velvet matte, and an iridescent sparkle. So we'll take a deep dive into that when I do the swatches. Literally, you guys, I haven't even touched it. Just wanted to save it on camera for you guys. So let's start off with the outer packaging here. So here's what the box is going to look like. It literally is the exact same as the packaging. I don't know if anybody wants to pause and take a look at the ingredients. I have the back right here to share with you guys. I know I did get some questions as to where the palette was made. It is made in the USA of US and imported ingredients and is a 12 month shelf life. Taking a look at last year's holiday palette, which is the same format as this one. This one from last year was also made in the USA of US and imported ingredients and also has a 12 month shelf life. So it seems that she sourced from the same places. So here's the outer packaging and then you have the back here which is going to give you each of the shade names and all of that information. Now comparing it to the packaging of last year's, I think I prefer last year's. Here they are in terms of size. You can see that last year's is a little bit smaller and the biggest difference, it's definitely thinner as well. So here's the thing and I think some of you guys are going to be excited about this. While the palette from last year is more lightweight, it's thinner, it's a touch smaller. For those of you who are into the luxury experience with Pat McGrath, well I'm not saying this is really luxury like her mothership palettes, this feels more heavy duty. It does feel more luxurious for the price that you are paying. So this one's definitely more sturdy feeling but I do like a nice slim palette. So there's definitely pros and cons to both. Now when you open Open this up. It is magnetic, right? Yeah, there is a magnetic closure. Is last year's magnetic? Yeah, last year's is magnetic as well. But definitely just feels more sturdy. And just like last year's, you do have the ribbon holding it up. There's a few of you I know that said you didn't like the ribbon. You can just cut the ribbon off 
The palette just won't be able to stand on its own. You can decide if it's worth it to you or not because you know what? Here is what's annoying about the ribbon. It just closes all the time. So cut it off if it <laughs> annoys you. And then of course we are going to reveal the 18 shades. Now the layout as you can see of where the shadows are placed are different. This is falling. This is why I don't like the ribbon. You can see where <laughs> their place is different because instead of it just being even in columns and rows, she decided to add the logo right in the center. I'm personally not a fan of that. I would have preferred it just to be all about the product just to have a smaller palette So you see how last year's it's just nice and even it's extra and that, you know luxury is extra But I just personally don't prefer it, but that's just me anyways take a deeper dive into the colors here We're gonna swatch row by row here I just want you guys to get an up close of each of the shades since the time that I'm filming this I haven't seen any reviews up and it's pretty early so I do want you to really look at each color and really look at each formula. If you're new here I know I'm doing a first impressions but I'm very familiar with Pat McGrath and Pat McGrath's formula so I, I'm not afraid to tell you what's up and I know my stuff even if this is my first impression but of course make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I will be updating you as I continue to use this palette. I'm gonna do a three looks one palette next week that will be up so stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna change the lighting a little bit so that you guys can see the color a little bit better so come on closer let's swap lights are down because this is the best way to see the color by the way take a closer look at the palette this is going to be as true to color as I can get it so we're gonna start off right here at the top this is Saturn sunset it is a velvet matte then we have rose Venus this is a foiled metallic and this one was previously available as a single. So I actually do have this shade. This is a repeat. Next we have Gold Galaxy, which is a foiled metallic. So let's swatch these three. Saturn Sunset, beautiful swatch. Rose Venus, beautiful. And Gold Galaxy. Yep, they look and swatch as good as they feel. These first three shades are looking nice. Okay, let's go to the next three. Noah Moon is an iridescent sparkle. Then we have Bronze Nova. This is one of those 24 karat duochrome sparkles. Beautiful. And then lastly, we have Nocturne, which is a chocolate brown velvet matte. Truly just a essential shade. Take a look. You can see those textures very close. So Noah Moon. Look at that iridescent sparkle. Oh my god. Oh my, is this a new formula from Pat? I don't know, but it's it was in last year's, but it's still beautiful. Okay, here is Bronze Nova. It has a little bit of a pink turn to it. That's kind of hard to catch on camera. And look how amazing this matte nocturne is going to swatch. Okay, based on the first row, this is a good one. <laughs> this is definitely a good one. Am I biased? Potentially, but if a color is bad, I will definitely tell you guys. Going to go into Galactic Glow, which is one of the satin shimmers. So it's not a foiled color. It's a little bit toned down, which I like that she has that option. Sunrose Amber, which is a velvet matte. Nice kind of burnt terracotta orange. And then lastly, Lotus Luxe, which is a foiled metallic. And this shade was in the Golden Opulence collection. And if you're wondering how I know this, our girl Tim Talia has it on her website. So I didn't do the research. Tim Talia is just the queen of makeup reviews, so how these three swatch and I definitely remember this from the Golden Opulence palette and I wasn't the biggest fan of Golden Opulence. I feel like this feels a bit creamier and this shade for just being one of those satin shimmers. You can tell it's not a foiled but it's a gorgeous gorgeous shimmer. Okay I'm really excited about this next shade. We have Lunar Haze which is a foiled metallic. Then we have Electric which feels very soft. It I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but that's a velvet matte. And then lastly, Heavenly Body, which is another 24 karat duochrome sparkle. So I will say the duochrome sparkles, not the strongest duochrome shift to them compared to some other duochrome shades. Nonetheless, they're beautiful. Look at that foiled shade, gorgeous matte. 
there's that duochrome sparkle. So these duochrome sparkles do have sparkles in them, but it's not as duochrome-y as I would like for them to be. So just be aware of that. I'm sure they're beautiful regardless, but the fact that it's called a duochrome sparkle, I wish there was a little bit more duochrome. All right, moving down to the last and final row, we have Bronze Eclipse, which is a satin shimmer. Again, could pass as foiled if it were another brand. <laughs> then we have Solar Flare, which is a satin shimmer as well. And then lastly, we have, oh, look at this, Nirvana, which is a foiled, that's crazy. It's a foiled metallic, lost for words there for a second. But this isn't the creamiest feeling, but it picked up so much. So here we go. This is that Bronze Eclipse. Next shade, a solar flare, and then, ooh, that's really pretty. That's gonna be gorgeous all over the eyelid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this ain't no joke, you guys. Okay, final three. We have Corrupt Copper, which is a satin shimmer. This was previously a single, so I have this. Next up, we have Palladium. Doesn't feel the creamiest, but it still feels pretty creamy. This is a foiled metallic. And then this shade, Citrine or Citrine Envy. This is one of those 24 karat duochrome sparkles. This is definitely what Madison Beer had on her eyelid for the Matte Gala. You know I gotta play with this shade. Okay, Corrupt Copper. Oops, I overlapped there, but you can see it's gorgeous. <laughs> Palladium. Palladium. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then lastly, Citrine Envy. Okay, this. All right, here are the swatches. And as I suspected in my original thoughts on this palette, gorgeous, gorgeous palette in person, I still do prefer last year's color story. That one was a little bit more up my alley. This one, you know, I still think there's too many peaches, roses, and golds in here just because we get that in all of the other pa palettes. But everything swatched beautifully. So far by swatches, no duds. So I don't think there's going to be any duds. The only negative, there's only one negative I have to say, and I it's that those 24 karat duochromes, I wish had a little bit more actual duochromes, but this palette looks beautiful. It swatches stunning. And I, I do like still, even though it's not my style, that there is a mix of warm and cool tones because I think that makes it more wearable. So last year's, while I do personally prefer it, it wasn't really wearable for the everyday person. This palette is wearable. You can create a lot more wearable looks with it and you can also play around with more smoky tones or the fun green tones or the teal tones. If there's any time to dive into Pat McGrath for your first palette, this is a great one because it has warm tones, cool tones, different textures, and it's wearable as well as something that you can be creative with. So for a beginner pat palette, one of the best values. All right, so we've seen the swatches. Are we not in love? Because I'm in love. Okay, so let's let's put some on my eyelids. Let's go, let's go. Okay guys, so I did a one of my throw up looks where I just throw all the pretty shades on my eyes so <laughs> that I could see what the colors I wanted to wear most would look like and fit as many as I can on the eyes. Okay, so one thing that I've already noticed that I would like are the mattes to be more. Like there's not a lot of mattes, which I love Pat McGrath shimmers and I want as many of her shimmers as I can get, but I feel like to make this more of a versatile palette and something a little bit more cohesive that she would have added like a matte blue or a matte green or a matte purple or added all three in because right now we only have two neutral pinks and two browns and I just feel like with the fun pops it would benefit us to have those varying mattes to help complete the look because while the pink matte that I have goes fine you know having something like a matte blue or a matte green would really elevate the looks that you can get with that. But that's just my two cents. I mean, this palette applied great. I'm telling you that already. So just hold your horses, it's coming. Wayne Goss number three, and we are going into electric. This matte is a little bit powdery. You are gonna get some kickback. Tap off your brush, but the amount of pigment you're going to get is going to be insane. Okay, I'm going to wipe this brush off. I'm gonna use it again. We are going into Saturn Sunset. This is going in the outer half of the crease. For some depth, we're going into Nocturne. And Pat has the best chocolate browns I've ever tried. Do you see that pigment? And it's going to blend out well. 
So we're gonna leave it like that. And I'm using my fingers for the lid shades. We are going to start off with Lunar Haze. This has almost a very slight silver lilac tone to it. And I'm applying this to the inner third of my lid. Look at that. Do you see that pigment? It's super soft really beautiful and in today's look i definitely needed to use citrine envy and this shade it's as beautiful as it swatches the glitters in here are so fine and they're so reflective when the light hits look at that there's so much dimension in the glitters on this i know it looks a bit messy we will clean it up don't worry my big fat fingers are making a mess and then i absolutely positively had to use nirvana <laughs> this one isn't quite as pigmented, I would say, as the other two. It may, like, it can stand on its own. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't need a base. But if you have, like, a teal matte and you put this over top, it's going to be insane richness. So in terms of getting the prettiest look, that's what I would have done. And then I'm going to take a brush and just blend the shimmers into the pink crease shades. Again, you see what I mean when I say this palette would benefit from having a teal or a green or even a purple. Just need that, just to make everything a better transition, but <laughs> gorgeous. Okay, in the lower lash line, I definitely just seized the opportunity to play with some other colors. Galactic Glow's going first. This color is really, really pretty. I think if you're applying this to the lid, use your finger because the finger will definitely apply the best opacity wise. But you can see again the dimension in that shade. Lotus Lux is next. I'm putting this in the middle of the lid and you can see how that changed the look. They don't look the same. Really pretty. And then lastly, we're using Bronze Eclipse. And this is going in my outer corner like so. So again, remember this look is a bit of some shadow bark, but I wanted to play with a lot of different shades. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm going to do liner and lashes and it will come together. So I'll be right back. I am mad I've downplayed this look because it's a gorgeous look no matter what. Ooh. And if you're wondering what this gorgeous, juicy sparkliness on my lips is, it's Pat McGrath Lust Gloss and Carnal Desire. But here is the final look with lashes. Oh, oh my god, I really love it. Okay, let me zoom out and I will give you my final thoughts. You guys, if you couldn't tell, Pat did not disappoint me. I think the quality in here is phenomenal. There is not a single dud in this palette thus far that I've tried. I think the color story allows for a lot of variety and I really do think that a lot of you guys are going to love this palette. You know, I still honestly do prefer last year's color story and I would reach for this palette more probably. However, this is the perfect beginner pat palette because you have her infamous rosy and gold tones and you have a lot of new tones to play with a lot of new textures to play with it's just a great introduction to the brand at not an affordable price but at a reasonable price that she usually charges but even then if i'm saying you know it's still not my favorite palette i like last year's better i wish there were a few different matte shades in here regardless i still love this palette it's amazing the looks that i'm gonna get are gonna be so fun and so beautiful and I'm very, very happy with this palette. So for those of you who are waiting for my review, just to make sure that this was going to be worth it, it definitely is worth it. The quality is great. It won't let you down. Yeah, so that's all I have for today's review. I'm really, really excited about this palette. She did a fabulous job and I surely cannot wait to create more looks with this palette. So keep an eye out for that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.